travelled the length of the Po Valley, the agricultural heartland of Italy. As a self-confessed lover of Italian food, I was thrilled at the thought of coming here to the epicentre of the nation's gastronomy. Well, the countryside around here is nothing if not spectacular. Vibrant, verdant and beautiful. The only thing which seems missing to me are the farm animals. Unfortunately, in the Po Valley, uh, which is the core part of the agriculture in Italy, you don't see any single farm animal because they are all factory farmed. They are hidden from the view of the people. They are, uh, you know, uh, they live confined in shed and they have really little space. They will never see a blade of grass uh, for all their lives. This is very sad and I think also very far from the image that people abroad have of the Italian food. The majority of the cows producing milk for Parmesan and Grana Padano are kept indoors, permanently. Here, even most organically reared cows live their lives indoors. And of course, so much farmland here has been turned over to monocultures of grains like maize, much of which go to feed factory farmed animals instead of people. It isn't just farm animals that are going missing from the landscape. Iconic farmland birds, like the skylark, are also disappearing. The skylark is special because it is a very well-known bird. Uh, farmers uh, are, uh, were used to, to hear the skylark in the, in the sky. And so now that uh, the, the, the sky is uh, silent, they, they feel the, they miss it. In addition to pesticides, which kill off the bird's food supply, the overuse of synthetic nitrogen fertilisers, which run off into the rivers and streams, is a hazard for other wildlife. Things can be different. In the Grand Sasso National Park, there is a natural balance between wildlife and farming. Here, cattle and sheep graze across the landscape in ways which benefit better food and biodiversity, a real fusion between food, farming and nature. So where are the animals? Here they are. I finally found some farm animals out grazing in the fields. Fantastic. Si, si stanno preparando per andare dal pascolo, ve, le, le vedete che già guardano verso il punto del, de, dell'uscita e poi staranno tutto il giorno. Adesso è, è il momento migliore del pascolo, se vedete eh, ci stanno tutti i tipi di erbe e tutti i tipi di fiori, è il momento migliore de, de, del pascolo. If only it were like this across the rest of the country. I hope that uh, in Italy in the future the animals will get to graze again, they will get in the fields, they will have a better life, the life they deserve, a, a life worth living and I hope that the Italian food which is uh, now very much renowned abroad as well uh, will come from animal uh, farmed in respect of their welfare. Down in the Po Valley I saw a land without animals. But here in the uplands, I could see and hear something profoundly different. A taste of what the countryside could really be like, if only we let it. <laughs> 